You know, the business environment in the last 20 years has gotten more and more competitive, and it's, it's ended up with a lot of offshoring of anything that's made. And I think what the country is realizing now is that making things is important. The reason making things is important is it employs a lot of people. It gives you expertise. Sure does. When you shop, do you try to buy things made in America? That is one of the questions, one of the many questions in a new documentary that asks you to ponder. American Made Movie was made by Vince Vittorio and Nathaniel McGill, and they are in St. Louis today. They're getting ready for a preview of their documentary. It's going to be shown tonight at the Tivoli on Del Mar. And look what they arrived in, a massive bus. This is part of a 30-city tour in, what, 30 days, guys? Yeah, actually, it's 32 cities in 32 days. This is just how it worked out. So, well, you've done, where are we on that list? Boy, we're right about in the middle. Course, city number five, right there. Hey, is this made in America, this trailer and this bus? The you bus know, driver's from America, and uh, we're using a bus line from America as well. There you go. And, and that basically is, is the uh, whole idea behind this documentary, trying to get people to think about what is made here and to maybe buy American. That relationship, you know, it's, it's showing the relationship we all have to manufacturing, because whether you realize it or not, it's there, from shopping local as well as shopping on a national level at your big box store. Yeah, what led to this? Well, you know, we, we just got to thinking about the organic food movement, how people were thinking about the way that they were buying uh, their fruits and vegetables. A lot of people like to go to farmer's markets. It reminded us of that Made in America slogan that Dad used to talk about, and we wanted to know where it was today. So as we explored the history of manufacturing, and we got into the stories of current manufacturers, small businesses, and large, medium-sized businesses that were making things in America today. Do you, do you hit on any St. Louis corporations and companies? Well, we have a, a tour at uh, 1 o'clock today. At, at the Rankin, Rankin yeah, Technical College. Sure, where they train a lot of these young people. Right, workforce development. You know, the, I, the idea with these cities is we want to get a feeling for the different cities and kind of get an idea for what's going on and what's their story related to manufacturing and or kind of, you know, community development and economic development because there's a lot of really interesting stories I don't think get featured. And that's kind of what our purpose of the tour is along with showing the film. Now, the film is actually coming out August 30th, I believe. Yes, it'll be hitting general distribution. theaters uh, nationwide, August 30th. And, you know, you can learn more about that at our website, theamericanmademovie.com. Well, you know, this is a country of innovation. Maybe we should make a better umbrella because I'm getting soaked out here. Right, yeah. <laughs> this, this is not the best day to be doing this, but we wanted to see your bus. Once again, 7 o'clock tonight at the Tivoli. Afterwards, at about 8.45, you can talk with Vince and Nathaniel. That's We're right. going to have, like, a little chit-chat with everybody. Should be very interesting. Guys, thanks so much for coming into St. Louis. Really Thank appreciate so it. Much. Where are you off to next? Uh, Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Yeah. Milwaukee. Yeah. I'm from Milwaukee, and I ought to know. It's good old Oh, for heaven's sake. There you go. All those Cut products. to me. Cut to me.